Hello, this is a simple recording of how to install Mira 60 on Windows 8 uh, using the latest Windows uh, installer for Mira. In our case, I just downloaded it, but uh, you need to go to uh, getmira.com in order to get the latest distribution that has the installer. The assumption is that your machine doesn't have anything on there yet. Uh, the installer will then uh, go ahead and install a CFML or Cold Fusion engine. In this case, it will be the Rilo engine version 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start it up. I'm going to confirm the Windows user account control warning in this case and proceed from there to answer the questions. So I'm just going to uh, accept the license for the uh, open source version here and just accept the defaults in most cases. I'm going to uh, let the administrator be admin, provide a password that is uh, going to be used for both Tomcat as well as Rilo administration. And I'm going to start it at default and I'm going to say go ahead and install. Once the installation has finished, we uh, receive the option whether we want to open the default configuration pa pa uh, page. Sorry, The Mura installation has two phases. One is the deployment of the CFML engine if necessary and the uh, CFML code. The second part is actually uh, within the Mura system itself. Once it starts up, it is the configuration of the initial site. So that's what uh, this check mark is really referring to. The um, Mira system will start with the Mira setup page, then and that's which is the start of the second phase. In our case, we will select a MySQL database, which I have installed locally. If you don't have a database, uh, you can download MySQL from MySQL.com, or uh, if you are using a hosted version, you can um, really start connection straight up. In my case, I do want the, the Mira instance to actually create the database. Um, normally when you do production instances you probably want to create them before you connect them uh, here. So it's um, well, this is just uh, for ease of development uh, and playing with the system. I'm providing the Rilo password that I had provided initially here. The database is right here. I think my username is this. And I'm just going to leave uh, the information as is and we will uh, provide this type of address and I'm going to just uh, use the defaults. Then I click the save settings. Mira will now go ahead and create the database and populate it with the base data to get the system started. Once the system is started, I will actually receive a uh, confirmation that we are ready uh, to go and also receive a warning that it might be probably wise to remove the setup directory and uh, make the configuration from then on in the settings.ini.cfm file directly, which you, sh you should uh, consider highly in order to make your system secure and not changeable thereafter by somebody else. So here um, I'm just going to hit log into Mura. Once the initial configuration in the second phase has completed, you're ready to log into the uh, Mira system and uh, start administering your content management uh, system yourself. So I'm just going to use the default login um, to make sure we can get into the system. And there we are. And uh, we are ready to configure uh, our users, our sites, and so forth, and uh, get going and operating with Mira. I'm going to do one more thing here is actually I'm going to uh, show you how to create a completely separate instance of Mira on the same machine 
normally this is only done for development purposes or for testing of some sort. So um, what we'll do is we actually will restart the uh, installer one more time. So here we are. And um, when the installer set starts a uh, secondary uh, or se second time, um, it will actually detect that we've done an installation before and everything is available and it will give me an uh, alternate name for the instance. In this case, I'm just going to accept the default and that's all I need to answer because the rest of the information has been gathered from the previous install and uh, it's just going to deploy the uh, default code for Mura to be run. Once the uh, second installation completes, I again get a check mark and uh, a, conf uh, a dialog to see whether I want to open uh, the interface and that will open now the uh, page um, for the second instance of Mura that I have placed on this machine and I will uh, really need to go and walk through the same steps as I have before. In this case, though, I have a, uh, a uh, path that is slightly different than the first one, while the first one is really using the default, second one and third one and so forth will use a subpath. In this case, uh, the installer will relabel the Mura 2, 3, 4 in a sequential order or any choice of name that isn't already used, you can uh, use. And uh, this is a good uh, way of quickly deploying a second site on the same machine um, and be able to do some sort of development test on it. Uh, that's all there is to it to get Mira set up and running on Windows 8, uh, Mira 6 with Rilo 4.